Hi, I'm Susan Price from Furniture Magicians, and I'm a proud sponsor of this video. My name is James Cameron, and I love Rolls Royces. And I want to welcome you to the Rolls Royce and Bentley University Buyer's Guide. Let's start class. Why don't we head over to the workshop? There you go. Did you just hear what the man said? And I'm going to tell you right now, I hit that lottery three of these cars ago, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I have a better idea. Is I wouldn't mind retiring. You can buy the business. I would <laughs> Don't tempt well. me. Do not tempt me. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the way way. it's supposed to be. But we do, like, here, if you look at materials, all of this is genuine Wilton wool. This we have coming from the UK, so, like, the, all these carpets you see are the genuine materials. We, this is an area that I'm really big on, that substitutes are not acceptable to me. Because the biggest cost in putting new carpets or putting in new leather or whatever it might be, it's the labor. Yes, the Absolutely. material costs more. Absolutely. If you're going to spend that much on the labor, don't skimp on the materials. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like behind you, sorry, James, That's I'm just okay. going to shove you away. Um, That's all right. That happened to me on the court all the time. All of these, my hands are dirty, so I gotta be oh. careful, but <coughs> these broadcloth wools, which are for the headline, um, once again, this is all the genuine pure wool broadcloth wool. Mm -hmm. And to give you an idea, of how, I'll use this word, anal I am. I guess it's not good for YouTube, but um, when we are, uh, you know, you might get a, a shadow two, mm -hmm. and what happens, the sun gets to the rear parcel shelf yes. and the A pillars, right, and it damages it. But what people don't realize, you can't then just go and buy the brand new broadcast wool because the wool that's in the car has already faded mm -hmm. and it's a slightly different colour. Right. To show you how ridiculously angry we are, we take that wood cloth wool, and if you look carefully, my hands are dirty, mm -hmm. and probably won't even show them. See how that is lighter than that? that yes. And the way we achieve that, we literally hang the fabric in the sun. So that you can get so it. So that it fades, so that we have different sample stock to use on different cars. We only buy Connor lights. People think that you can't buy con anymore, but you can. All right. And I definitely uh, want to film your walk, wood. Walk that way and I'll meet you down there. So what you're looking at yes. here with wood, right? Yes. So very typical what can happen to wood is this. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens is this. The wood itself is a, is a solid substrate with a veneer, which is, you know, not even a millimeter thick, okay? Um, but with many coats of clear on top. Over time, with expansion contraction of temperatures, the clear starts to break down, lifts, cracks, separates, and then you have this, right? So what we do here is we, in fact, if you can see here on the door, this is very typical what happens on doors, and then you can lose the whole place, right? So we very carefully strip this back to the bare wood. You must not sand. Because if you sand, the veneer is very thin and you'll go through it and destroy the wood, right? So we strip the clear off the wood. Yeah, there's a very little bit of very light sanding at the end, but mm -hmm. nothing aggressive at all. And then using what we 
called from the factory the Rolls-Royce multi-layering technique where you apply clear right. and you might end up with over 20 coats of clear. Yes. The first 10 coats are layered but after the first 10 coats you're wet sanding between coats right. and the whole idea is you want to end up with like a finish this. that's like glass. Yes. You, you, when I say you don't see the grain, you see the grain as in the colour, but you don't see the pores of right. the grain, or right. if I can call it yeah. that, right? And that is where you want to be. Now, I was very lucky because, as I say, I've been to the crew factory over the years, and I used to watch them doing this, and it was a great way to learn. Back in those days, you were allowed to wander around exactly. the factory. You can't do that anymore. Um, and this is usually where most people go wrong in the water. Now, I make no, you know, there's no question when you do it properly like this, it's labor intensive and anything by nature that's labor intensive is expensive. Sure. There's not much you can do about sure. it. But I still believe it's an area that people should not skimp on because mm -hmm. like, here's some wood that someone did, not us. It's not bad, but it's still wrong. The uh, Rolls-Royce used a process known as book matching. This particular work that was done here has not been book matched. The color applied in here is incorrect. It's black, it should be brown. So, you know, I'm very particular yeah. with getting these things right. Mm -hmm. Like, if you just look at this little piece here, oh, it's a little dirty, let's get one that's, uh... Well, it's dirty because we're in here, but the point is you've got to get the right color in there, which is a matched brown. It's how the factory did it. Um, and you've got to get the right amount of coating on there. Wow. So, this is yeah. incredible. And I've gotten to know the woods so well over the years that I can pretty much tell you which one of those comes from what year. Like I can tell you that this is about 72, 73. This is about 70, 71. This is about 75. That's 75, 76. This is 76. And towards the end there is shadow to wall. And I, could, and I, I just know because it would like this. This wood here is African Burl Warner. So back in this period, crew was sourcing their veneers from Africa. Africa. Um, in, the, in the mid to late 70s, they were sourcing their wood from Milan, Italy, and this is Milanese, Burr Warner. Um, same as the, on the side here, this one here is Australian ash. This is a lighter ash, and I, I can't remember where they got that one from off the top of my head, but that's how you get the differences in the wood as well. This is, and if you look at this, you can really see this bit matching technique. Let me get one of these off. So if you look here, if you look at these two, they almost like uh, geese. Um, see how they point in. The reason these match is because the wood, the veneer is sliced, and if you can see my hands, it's sliced like this, and then it's opened and laid flat. And so that side mirror images that side. That process is then duplicated uh, three more times so that each door has the same look. So that's why you can't just, if, if you want to save money and you don't want to, you know, refinish it, which I understand, right? and you find a set from another car that's in good condition, then that's okay. Mm -hmm. But you can't just buy one door. I got you, it'll never match. Gotcha, gotcha. This is what you don't do with wood. This is where someone has sanded and see these marks here? That's because they've sanded right through the veneer. So this wood, sadly, is destroyed forever because you just, that's how thin the veneer is. Mm -hmm. But then on the other hand, then you get the other side of things where you get wood like this with some very natural, beautiful grains to it, like this one. They look like rosebuds. Look at that. Look how beautiful they look. 
and as you see, it's then copied because it's grain. It's obviously going to change slightly because you're cutting through mm -hmm. different layers of the tree. Um, and in fact, if you look here, you can see the pattern is slightly changing. This little point here is slightly different to this one, to this one, etc. But when you put all four together, you can see there's a pattern that's matching. And in this case, you have these really sort of like right. almost rosebud looking things. Gotcha. This is really what you're doing. We do veneer with this. So you might have, this is raw veneer. Of course, Burr walnut comes, is part of the root mass okay. of the walnut tree, right? And the reason it's burled is because that's the root, right? So if you, the concept of book matching, sorry about all this mess here, is that when you're making a piece of wood, you take it and you flip it. And then the whole idea is... The, you, the pattern stays The pattern right. is mirror image in this case, you see? Mm -hmm. And then because there's many layers of this, I can go again to the next one, you wow. see? Wow. And that's how it works. Gotcha. Do you know what I mean? Gotcha. Book matching is an art, um, something we're very good at here and very proud of. Um, and and you, you may not know this, but Rolls Royce. I probably a, don't. Rolls Royce, I think, someone's going to put in the comments. Yeah, that. figures. But I think Rolls Royce, even today, are the only company that still does book matching. Mercedes well, I wouldn't doesn't. be surprised. Mercedes doesn't do it anymore. Um, Jaguar did for a while, but I don't believe they do it. But, but Jaguar, because I sold them back in the 70s when I was in college. I worked for a dealership. And back in those days, I'm talking early 70s, they were British Leyland. Yeah. You had Jaguar, TR6s, TR7s, Triumphs, Land Rover. Land Rover. We didn't sell the Land Rovers, but we sold the Midgets. Okay. And we also sold Mazdas, mm -hmm. and we also sold the Volvos. As oh, a matter you? of fact, I, I can tell you, in 1972, goes to show you how old I am, a Volvo was $10,000. A Cadillac Sedan DeVille was $7,200. Okay, Goes to show you. Let's be honest, looking back, you got ripped off on the Volvo. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> At least the Cadillac, you had the big floaty thing. Listen, I mean, when you really make comparisons, Rolls Royce always had it with the interiors yeah. and the look of the car and the whole nine yards. But to give them their props, Cadillac or GM, they had the better air conditioning. They had the power brakes when Rolls Royce didn't. They had the power windows when Rolls Royce didn't. Or it was maybe an option. No, but, but it I think, came standard. I think, I think you got electric windows in the Cadillac. What, exactly, 50, 49. Oh my God. Well, there you go. 49. What you're going to see was made at the factory for the first time. It has a rear dashboard. Really? Phenomena, tachometer. That is factory. Not put in afterwards. Careful. Yes. I mean, that is, was a factory bespoke option. This car has a lot of what I call Radford options. Um, uh, umbrellas, I did compartments. And umbrellas and before the umbrellas. Yeah. yeah. But look at that. The message you have to push to them is don't buy cheap cars. Mm hmm. And, and then there's got nothing to do with the fact, I make no secret that my car's the most expensive. Sure. But that's only face value expensive. Mm -hmm. Because you could buy a car for 10, 15 grand less than what mine sold for. But then you've got to put in all the grand. Uh, believe me, I know. Right. So, you know, and if there should be any message that a prospective buyer wants to buy a car, is I always tell them spend as much as you can afford. Mm -hmm. Buy the best that you can, you know. Right. Because, and don't get me wrong, if you want to buy, if you're limited to the money, you want to buy a car, and then you have no problems with the idea of working on it for the next two or three years, this is fine. I, right. I'm a car guy, and some things are fun. Right. That I have no problem. But if you're the people, I, I feel for the people who 
my, look at one of my cars or cars like we sell, and let's say it's a $45,000 shadow, and they go, oh, that, oh, that seems too expensive. And they go and buy one for thirty-five, dollars thinking, oh, look, I'm, I'm clever. I've but then they put that. in another $25,000. And I feel as if I, I Don't get me wrong. I'm, no, I get you. This is not a message to I say, get you. come and buy for us. I get you a thousand This is percent. just a message for those owners right. to understand right. that there are no free lunches. Do right. you know what I mean? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I want to thank Rod Sala of Park Ward Museum and Showroom, located in Crystal Lake, Illinois, for his generosity with his time and his knowledge of all of these beautiful Rolls-Royce motor cars. Well, class, that's it. I'll see you next time. Drive safe.